Halloween event I especially targeted me, which was I hope you guys are doing finally well. And I know this is such a hard moment for all of us, especially you know, me, which I have very pain in my back right now. It just hurts a lot. Because you know they kind of drilled my back for me while I wasn't going to restroom. And it's very really coward, you know, when you attack someone in the restroom or in the washroom, taking a shower, etc. That, that should be really out of their ethics, but they do it. So to come to the real point, you know, I actually uh, built a scout wave, so you know. Uh, a device that actually kind of blocks you know, their interferences, their um, microwave and a laser, and at some point, you know, Bluetooth spoofing the Wi Fi attacks. You know, for uh, as for you know, EMF electromagnetics, it's not guaranteed because they still got attacked with it. But you know, what, what it does, this cow wave um, device, you know, what it does is it blocks their access to um, have a satellite uh, x-ray of your room. For example, you're sitting in your room here and they can just find your position through the implants in your body and through the satellite x-ray that they have access anywhere. You know, it's just like the cameras and it shows you people like an x-ray to them, like all the equipments in your room, even you, your body, uh, it shows it to them, you know, uh, where you're sitting. The first thing that I want to ask you targeted people, never respond back to their attacks. Never respond back to their V2K, because that's what they want, that's what they're dreaming about. Then the psychiatrist and psychologist, and you're next door harassing you, and they're going to record your voices and then kind of say, oh yeah, this person is going through mental cracks, you know, mental blow ups, you know, and etc. and psychotic episodes, you know, this person has mental problems and it's just getting and then I'm told institution I inject him with poisonous stuff, giving him pills. Oh he's just going through it. Let's just put him there. Sorry, but this is just the fact. You guys really, really have to pay attention to it, you know, to not let this happen. I made a mistake in the past, but now I'm just really, really much aware of it and I'm not responding back. Even though you know, before uh, installing this um, scale wave uh, device, I used to have, you know, their control in my hands. For example, they just make my hands do the movements. For example, touch myself and lips for God's sake. But it's so much, you know, like they just insert my finger in my mouth, you know, and then touch my body and um, get me you know, in those uh, disgusting, sick imaginations, you know, I never wanted to. Because, you know, they want to propertize you through this, okay? You're going to come out as a sex slave, okay, out of this program. This is just what their objective is, so they can use you. First, they're going to use, you know, the perps on you, you know, to have sex with you. And then after the perps, you're just, like, really ready for it, you know? You're, like, totally out of your control. So that was, that's what they were doing with me. I was using my hands, you know, I was touching myself, touching my body, you know, like this and that. I don't want to do it, but it's just like sick part, you know, that they were doing with me. And they still do it when they're using the force that actually leaves the marks, you know. The marks of these marks, you know, on the, on the skin. The abuse mark like this, you see. And what they use a lot, for example, in my case, is the throat to control your head. Okay, this is part of the V2K voice to skull. One of the V2Ks that you're hearing voices, the other one is that you're not hearing voices, but you have them reading your thoughts and giving you body clicks and then maneuvering your body into different styles. Okay, that's what they do. And my retina, for example, sometimes I can even see them when I'm like, uh, I don't know if you've come across this or not, some of you, but when you kind of like rub your uh, retinas and you can see their picture. And it's a guy, you know, in my case, and it's also a woman, and they're old. They're, they're in their 60s or 50s, maybe. Yeah. I saw them. And then they have the younger perps, you know, that actually are nasty and sicky, smelly, gone. I 
just can't even just comment, but you can hear my throat voice, you know, it's kind of like suffocating. It's because of there's too much pressure. They're burning it, they're using it to maneuver my head, maneuver my mouth, you know, and they connect to the teeth, okay? That's just when the waves come and connect to your teeth. It feels like they're just pulling out your jaws, okay? Pulling out your jaws. And then it goes to your ears so they can make movements into your head and then your throat. And then the other one is in your province. I'm sorry. I don't want to sound perfect, but it's just they they do the guys with their dicks and women probably in their one part. As for me, I woke up being horrified of them sucking me so hard, people. It really scared me in that moment, you know, because it felt like it was. I'm a virgin, I can't even tell you, but they really do stuff with me, which is crazy. And it kind of like gives you the experience that you did somehow. You know? These stuff, you know, you can't even imagine. <laughs> That's what they did, you know, with me over the past couple of weeks, you know, that's, you know, they changed their, um, it's just like an evolutionary period, you know, they first start with the AMF, and then they use the microwave as well, and then they use the B2K on you, and then they use more sophisticated torture methods, okay, each year, it's on its different stage, in stigma, okay, and each year, it's getting much worse than you could imagine, right now, my part is that, um, a lot of gassing. Oh my god, they gas me a lot. Suffocates me, you know, I can't breathe. It gives you the COVID-19, which is their first flag operation, symptoms. It gives you that. I'm just putting a microphone, you know. You guys wouldn't be hearing it, so now I believe you guys are here. So, it gives you the COVID-19 um, symptoms, okay? The COVID-19 symptoms, you know, that you feel um, dry throat, dry nose, drugged head. That's what they do. They, it's just they're an inside job, people. You know, it just absolutely is their inside job. You know, that they're doing to a lot of people. And to me, for example, here. So what I had was, you know, like this Calor Wave uh, device, which I developed. I want to show you people and just comment on it a little bit. So, as you guys can see here, this is this Callaway uh, device which I built. And what I used here is the, is the flyback, TV flyback copper wire cable, two um, jars, you know, glass jars. You can use also the bottles. And then you use the fan um, control, the fan control, you know, on it just to, you know, like, to uh, boost up the level and um, diminish the frequency range. And also, you know, you have, uh, as I said, you know, the wire, the copper wire, you know, that you use into the jars. You connect the flybacks you know, to the fan remote uh, button. And then also, you know, you connect it to the electricity. And they, and they use enabler, which is a capacitator, they call it, to connect, you know, the flyback with the fan control button. Because the fan control button has those other capacitors inside that really controls the flow of the scalp waves. And this scalp waves, which is being produced, you know, hear the sound and see the spark between the two cables, it, it kind of like stops their frequencies, okay? Their frequency attacks. You might experience their attacking your privates, you might experience their um, attacking your head, especially burning, frying your head a lot of time. And then you have the warm sensation in your body like you're being boiled, you know? What it does here, it completely blocks them and also the laser attacks, you know? And it depends on how many flybacks you're using because, you know, you have to completely block their access to your room. Like, they don't have to see your positioning wherever you're sitting, so you could completely block, okay? You could completely block their um, 
access to your room, they wouldn't be able to see where you're sitting so they wouldn't, you know, position you for the attacks. I actually tweeted the video. This was just a simple, simple video that I wanted to show you people. You could see the two jars, the cables, the spark, the flyback, the fan control button. And again, you can see the spark, you know, between the two cables on top that you just really put them inside the water jar. You mix salt and water into the jars, okay? I could go, you know, more on it, but, you know, there's a... Um, there's a... Uh, there's a great possibility of you, you know, watching this, um, what do you call it, the tutorials, okay? For example, there's a PDF, which is in the Portuguese format, that I actually uh, have received from uh, a friend in Sao Paulo, Brazil. It's called the Scalar Wave Energy Equipment. It's very, very helpful, people. You can check the PDF, or if you want it, I can send it to you. You can send me a message that this was being used in the old science as a treatment remedy, you know. Uh, many people were using it. You can just see here, you know, the requirements, you know, is the power uh, of the computer and then the flyback of the TV. And then under it, you can see how they managed it, you know, on a table. I'm sorry, the vision could be, you know, a little bit blurry. They can see it here. And, and they show you step by step how you do this, okay? But, you know, it's in Portuguese. You guys can do uh, the English version too. So these are the capacitors that they're using, you know, in this uh, flyback. You can see the power uh, producer of the computer, you know, that they have. It's a desktop computer. And you can see how they put the copper wire inside the glass jar filled with water mixed with the salt. So that's how you do this. Okay? I know we need to have a clear mind and a lot of patience and a little peace you know, to do these things, which is really, really hard you know, to get because of the attacks of these miserable perps, the fallen angels, uh, the dark spirited angels, you know, who actually were one of us before but now they've turned into evil because they, they can't really see good um exist in this world because they're 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 they're, they're jealous they're they're mad they're pathetic they're angry and there's so much abuse and they want to just bring down any other you know to their level so there's this their system of luciferian system which is a secret society thing the Luciferian system, you know, to destroy good and turn them into evil because Lucifer is mad at God. <laughs> it's gonna have it says burn in the hell, you know, like forever. So anyway, this was just what I really, really come across experiencing and it's really good and I wanna just, you know, build more of it, more of it because, you know, I wanna just um, learn more about it, you know, because it's it's really important, you know, for us to learn these kind of science, people. We have to learn the physics. We have to learn the science because we need to build our own project to block their waves, to block their interferences, to block their Bluetooth speaking, to kind of limit their access into our lives, our personal lives, because they're miserable you know they found these texts you know and they're playing with everyone and we also have the right the privilege to block their um, access you see this is a friend in sao paulo who showed them how to do this this is the spark that you can see which is amazing which is very big and this part blocks the frequencies Satellite frequencies, radio frequencies, satellite laser, and other networks. It's a very economic, very cheap one. Okay, what you guys really need, just like I told you before, you have to take a list with yourselves. Okay, you have to take a note what you really, really need. What you need is a flyback, 
two jars of uh, water or anything, small jars, or you can call it two beer bottles, and then copper wire, and then the fan control button, okay? And then the capacitator. You can find it anywhere. It costs a little, but it really does great to help you to kind of like cut, cut their interferences in their lives. I'm trying, you know, I know the military and the police, the masons, you know, and the Jesuits, they have a lot of, lot of, lot of powerful text to use, but this is just, you know, to cut the uh, environmental purpose, you know, interferences, the perpy perpies, the slurpy slurpies, you know, they're just like around you who are giving tasks, the dirty tasks to harass you every day. And now, when I was cutting their, you know, interferences, the military used the very powerful frequencies that really burned my back. And I actually tweeted that. I did tweet that and tweet that, you know, because it feels like you're being fried like a chicken. And it's just like you're being grilled on this, to be honest. And it really hurts people. It really hurts. Let me show you the picture. Look, this is how they burn my back. I tweeted. I tweeted that. And I'm trying to learn more, evolve more, to get along with this. Because I can't be one of them. I can't do this shit to anyone. But the morals, ethics, and the values of humanity that I have, and I have been taught as a Muslim conservative in my family. So you guys keep it safe and just work this out and be safe. God bless you all. Thanks.